Welcome, welcome. This is Susan Campfield with SueStampfield.com. Um, you might be watching me on my Facebook page or in our Sue Stampfield Facebook group, or you might be watching the replay over in my YouTube channel, wherever you are. I'm so glad you're here tonight. Thanks for joining me this evening. We're going to do another fun fold card tonight because I love my fun folds. So I'm going to flip the camera and we'll go ahead and we'll get started. Let me do my thing. You're going to see my ceiling here. Yay. All right. Excellent. So we're going to play again tonight with the fantastic Encircled in Friendship bundle. And we're doing a similar card, but we're going to do a twist on it. And I'll explain why I wanted to do a twist. Um, and we're also going to play with some products that are about to go away. So just as a refresher on the dies that come in this set, this is one a lot of people um, including me, overlooked initially in the catalog, and um, it is super, super fun. So these are all, it, like, there's so many dies you can't even fit them on the <laughs> on the page because some of them do double duty, right? The one we're going to play again with tonight is this one right here. Um, this is a window die, so it cuts a window in your card like this and gives you that cool laser-cut look, and then it also cuts out the circle which is critical for this card. And then if you want to, you can take the coordinating die and you can send that through the die cutting machine again and get an actual completely separate piece. So kind of like a laser cut um, doily, really, uh, with a with a opening in the center. And then the other dies, uh, oh, of course, the same one that you can use to cut out the shape you can also just use it to cut a blank for doing some layering. Um, for instance, you could layer this one on top of it. So, And then we have this one right here, which matches up with this die right there. And then the two smaller dies, which are right there. So that's a little refresher on the dies. And the dies are called Encircled in Beauty. And the stamp set is Encircled in Friendship course I always like to go for that bundle option save 10% and get both um, but these are these are standalone dies so if you didn't want the set you could get just the dies it's certainly your choice that's always an option right so um, I love this die too uh, Connie it's um it's so fun and I'm <laughs> and I'm a little bit fixated on this particular die right now because it is kind of a unique die um, and so I've been having a lot of fun. So last time, a um, couple times ago, I shared these three cards that I did um, with that window die. And this is a fun fold. So it opens up like, oh, so, okay, this is my little trick. When I, <laughs> to take photos of it, um, a bouncy card like this, I have to tape it closed or it just won't stay closed for me to take a picture of it. So you can see the, you're getting to see the secret behind the scenes uh, look here. So, um, so this one, it's the fun fold, just like that. And, um, what I, what I struggled with on this card, I was making this particular one for a swap and I wanted to add a ribbon and I wanted to wrap the ribbon around it. But with this particular style, I couldn't wrap the ribbon. Um, so I, did the little ribbon cheat where I just tied a knot and glued out it on there. And that's fine. That's just fine. But I wanted to play around with a different design um, where I could actually wrap the ribbon around. So that's what we're doing tonight. And so we're going to take this fold. Let me do the one that I untaped. <laughs> we're going to take this fold and we're going to do a little twist on it to uh, make it a little bit easier to do some ribbon. So I need you to tell me if you want the pink this is petal pink or if you want the sand this is sahara sand so vote if you want pink or sand the designer paper that we're doing tonight is one that is about to leave um, this particular set of dies is elegant it's elegant in the extreme and so when I'm picking a designer paper and stamps, I mean, I want to go with elegant ones. This You couldn't get more elegant than this gorgeous paper. This one is called Love You Always. It's in the mini catalog. It's about to leave us. It's on sale right now. <gasps> Who loves a sale? I love a sale. <laughs> and so it's a really good deal right now. Great bargain. Beautiful 
uh, foil elements in that paper and you get um, three designs and it's 12 by 12 and you get four sheets of every design. So you get a lot um, to do multiples, which is really nice. Instead of just two, you get four of each design. So that's a Love You Always paper. I believe it was initially $15 and I think it's half off right now. So, uh, and it's while supplies last. So if this one is on your list, I would say grab it. Uh, well before it sells out so um, okay I'm seeing I'm seeing a lot of pink so we're gonna go with the pink tonight um, I think the Sahara sand is lovely and I will um, I'll make that one up later hopefully <laughs> all right so let's talk about our paper sizes here so we are going with a petal pink cardstock this is four and a quarter by 11 and I've scored it at five and a half. So I've done it the long way. I've got another vote for pink. That's good because we're going pink. Let's bring up our die cutting machine. And then I have a strip of our designer paper that is one inch by four and a quarter. That's gonna go across the bottom. And we'll talk about the insert in just a few minutes, but let's go ahead and get this cut out. My lighting here, I'm trying to see where my score line is. It's right there. I don't know if you can see that. And I'm going to lay this on there. And I did want to mention the um, this project sheet tutorial for this card that we're making is going to be going out in my Sue Stanfield weekly project sheet email, which goes out tomorrow. So make sure you're subscribed to that. So I've got that laid on there. Now you can secure that with a post-it note. I think I will. I don't know that I need to worry about it shifting too much, but let's try it. So I have it about a half inch down from the top and a half inch in from each of the sides. So it's kind of centered in the upper portion of the card, if that makes sense. And we're just gonna send that through. Okay, I've got it all the way through and I'm just gonna do a little insurance here. I'm gonna flip the whole thing around and I'm gonna send it through again. I've had a really good luck with this die cutting really well. Um, but if you want things to not work, you need to go live and do a video. <laughs> it's like a Murphy's Law deal, I think. Okay, there we go. Okay, so this is important. You want to hang on to this circle. We're going to save that. And then we're going to take our uh, take your pick tool. Got the die brush attachment in there. So I'm just taking my die brush here and I am um, just rolling over that. Um, you can see some of the pieces stuck in the die. We talked last time about just uh, before you die cut, just taking a piece of wax paper and rubbing it on the edges of that die. And that um, will help the paper release. I did not do that before die cutting. And you can see that a few pieces stuck. Not terrible, but a few. So you can just poke those out if that happens, but just a, a really quick fix beforehand is to just rub this on there. It's just like spraying Pam and your muffin tins before you, you put your muffins in uh, your, um, so they don't stick. And I can reuse this a gazillion times um, and instead of cutting it, uh, layering it on and cutting it, I don't have the big mess of all these little, they're actually really cute. I mean, these would be, you guys are creative. You could probably even find a use for these cute little curly cues that come out of here. So I'm just going to brush them out, poke them out, whatever it takes. I want them out. <laughs> there we go. And some are curly, so they'll they they want to they need a little convincing to get out. All right, that looks pretty good. I can see just a little circle right here we need to get out in this little piece all right did I get them all guys I think that looks pretty good all right all right so we're gonna fold our card in half grab my bone folder and just give that a crease and we're saving that circle because we want it and we're gonna go ahead oh what the heck let's go ahead and just add our pretty uh, paper to the front here Let's grab a seal adhesive here and get some sticky stuff on there. Such pretty paper. So pretty. All right, so we've got that. I love the shimmer of that um, 
metallic there and you can put that so it's about you know the same distance I mean, it's a little bit higher but nobody's ever going to notice that so it looks good all right we're going to grab our insert piece this is five and a quarter by eight okay we're going to go in here on our paper trimmer so again five and a quarter by eight i want to score it at i mean you can do it either way you can score it at two and four or you can score it at uh, four and six either way let's go two and four here there's the four so basically i have now taken my eight inch length and divided that up so i've got two four and then the remaining or two and two and then the remaining four and we're this is going to go inside our card and so we're going to accordion fold it so we're going to fold it so that this the fold is on the right side and then we're going to fold this back forming that z fold so this might be looking familiar to you this is the exact same insert we used on the card before it's just that it goes a different way this time so this time the card's going to open like this so let's get our adhesive here and we're going to adhere that on All right, so we got our card. We have our card going here. Now's the time where I want a white circle to go inside that insert. Now you can take the die and cut that out. You could cut a four and a quarter by four and a quarter piece of white and cut it so that you can save this to use for another card and keep the remaining circle for this card. Or you could just take a smaller piece of white, cut that out, or this is just about two by two. So if you have a circle die or punch that is that dimension, that would probably work as well. So we're going to take our circle here and we're going to stamp a greeting. I'm hoping that my pebble pink is nice and juicy here. We'll find out. Greeting. We're gonna go with this one today. Just a note to let you know that someone thought of you today. And I'm going to adhere that onto my block. And I'm going to just stamp that on my circle. And that's going to go in the center of my card here. Now, I don't want to put my adhesive on the back of the circle or I'm going to glue my card closed. I only want it to stick to this portion. So I'm going to keep my card closed and I'm going to add some adhesive in there. And we're going to put that right inside. And then inside the card, we're gonna attach this other circle and it's we want it to hide right behind this circle. So how I do that is I take it, I flip it over, I put some adhesive on the back so it's nice and sticky and then I line it up with the other circle. So sticky side up, lay it on top of the circle and then I'm just gonna close that card so that it's positioned correctly. There's probably another, you could probably even eyeball it, um, but that way you know you'll get it exactly where you want it. Okay, so we've got that there and we're going to just take, um, I like how I did the you're in my thoughts on the inside of this one and so I want to do that same look and then I'm going to do the you're in my thoughts on this. So that's, let's go back to that stamp set. We're going to pull out this greeting right here, you're in my thoughts. All right, now this one I'm going to have to um, cross my fingers that I'm going to get it straight. But you know what? Paper has two sides, right? So if I get it a little bit off, I don't think that was straight. Let me see. Eh, that's pretty straight. All right, we'll, we'll do it again on the other side and we'll pick which one's the best. <laughs> do you ever do that? It's like, eh, it's kind of okay, but I'm not sure. 
Oh, that one's even straighter. All right, this is the winner. And that's gonna go right inside the card. So I'll put my adhesive on the side I didn't like. How did my adhesive run away? Oh my gosh. Oh, it's right there, right literally in front of my face. How embarrassing. Okay, <clears throat> you guys are all going, Susan, it's right there, right there. So this is just gonna tuck right in here. I want it right into the, the fold there. And that's gonna close right like that. And we're gonna add our ribbon because that was the whole reason we wanted to do this in the vertical way, right? We wanted to have a ribbon wrap around. So, oh, what ribbon do I want to use? So I have this one. Um, this one is the Metallic Ribbon um, Blushing Bride, which is a different, slightly different color, but it does match well with the, the um, Petal Pink. I think I probably should have actually used Blushing Bride cardstock. Oh, Blushing Bride's on the other side. that and I'm going to twist the ends here because I want the metallic side up to match my card. So right before I pulled the knot tight, I twisted the tails so that they were metallic edge up. I hope that makes sense. And we're just going to trim those off. flips open like that and pulls out like that. And then we also have um, a version I did with Just Jade. And it's Just Jade cardstock. The paper for this one is the Sweet Symmetry. And oh, we almost forgot our gems. We gotta add our gems there. So this one again, it op flips up like that and opens like this. When you get the um, tutorial tomorrow in the um, project sheet email, it will be this card pictured, but I can add a photo of this card and I'll add a photo of the other one as well. Let's embellish this one because <laughs> yeah, that's how I roll. So I'm just gonna use my pick, take your pick tool there, add a little bit of bling on here. I'm gonna do one large, two small, could also do two large and one small, whatever works for you. Let's see, where do I want to put that? Maybe mm, I'm going to move this. Back here. And let's end this one up here. There we go. So we've got a little bit of sparkle happening there. Hope I wasn't too far off screen for that. And there is our pink version. Here is our Just Jade version. And I'm excited to make this Sahara Sand version, which I think will also be really, really pretty. Sahara Sand is a very elegant color, so I'm excited to give that a try. So if you haven't subscribed, if you're watching on YouTube, you can click the link in the description for this video to subscribe to my weekly emails. Thanks so much for joining me tonight, everyone. Take care, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.